Hey guys, it's me Meteor. It's no secret that I am a big fan of Kirby lore. In fact, I'm almost positive at least 95% of you watch my channel for it specifically. However, it has become increasingly apparent that some Kirby fans take it way too seriously. Admittedly, I am just as guilty as everyone else, if not more so. Sometimes in discussing lore, I can get pretty heated when I'm debunking something. Let's start off with the obvious. Galactonite isn't even the same shade of pink as Kirby. I personally never believed this and always thought that Canvas Curse was canon. And you know what? It was. It's not in the 20th anniversary art book. And it's not even on the official Nintendo website of Japan. Perhaps this has led to some treating others in a similar way. I feel like I should accept some responsibility for this, as maybe I haven't been the best role model in this situation. Even still, let me make this perfectly clear. At no point should we insult others or argue with others for either not knowing something or disagreeing with us. I understand we are all deeply passionate about lore, and there is nothing wrong with having a nice, level-headed discussion with someone about it. However, there is a limit, and when Kirby fans cross it, Man, do we cross it. The most infamous example was the whole MatPat situation. After making a video about Kirby that was, get this, wrong, Kirby lore enthusiasts came in droves to disprove and insult him, myself included, indirectly, to the point where he cancelled the second part of his video. Seriously, when has he ever done that? That whole thing was probably the worst representation of the Kirby fanbase to date. That happened quite a while ago though. Why make a video about it now? Because it's still happening, just on a smaller scale. I was recently involved in such a situation directly. There was a post found under the 3DS topic of Twitter. A gimmick account that will remain unnamed posted a picture of Susie claiming she was a robot girl from Planet Robobot. As a joke, I quote retweeted it, finding it amusing some of the comments still believed Susie was a robot. That was a mistake. Apparently, they were harassed so much, they left not just their gimmick account, but their main account on Twitter. That's... that's just awful. Regardless if I was fully responsible or not, it's not right for anyone to talk down on others for not knowing something we think is obvious. Susie's story is hardly even obvious. We legit had to go to Meverse for her full story, which is now completely gone. How many casual players of the series even know about Pause Text? How many even played Planet Robobot? It's completely unfair for us to condemn others for not knowing what they're talking about, because maybe they don't. Maybe they don't even care. Someone running a gimmick account isn't magically supposed to know every full story of every franchise they post about. Coincidentally, back in 1999, after playing Smash Brothers, I had no idea who Samus was and thought she was just a robot. It wasn't until I played Super Metroid later where I found out otherwise. How many things did you know about Kirby before becoming fully invested? One thing is for sure, if I didn't know anything about Kirby, I wouldn't want my first experience to be someone giving me an essay about a character I otherwise didn't even know existed. Let's ask ourselves, how did we get into lore? Was it from research, fan discussions, a video, or someone giving us a wall of text to read? If this person really was into Robot Girls and never played a Kirby game, maybe after thinking there was one in Robobot, they could have given the game a shot. Odds of them playing it now if they haven't before are quite unlikely. All in all, let's remember there are real people behind these screens, and none of us are perfect, but we should all try to give everyone the benefit of the doubt and treat them with respect. If we really are fans of Kirby, we should at least try to act like him too. Outside of this game, anyway. Anyway, I'm storming out of here. See you guys next time.